Hi everyone, this is Ali, the host of the Ally Show. You may have noticed that the episode name for this episode is a little bit different compared to the other episodes of the Ally Show. Starting March 1st, I've started a weekly meeting called We Pause in order to bring a space for everyone to come in and join me and the people that I know around me to practice things that helps with our mental health. It's only a 30-minute call on Fridays, uh, 2 p.m. Pacific time, that we are all joining to learn about something that helps with our mental health. This is for now a beta project, and I'm aiming to keep it free for as much as I can, and also sharing the content of it on my podcast, The Ally Show. To sign up, simply go to wepause.space slash sign up so that you can join these calls starting this next one. In any of these calls, you can expect to see a guest instructor joining me to teach you something about improving your mental health. For example, in this first meeting, Dr. Arzu Momini joined me and she helped everyone practicing some breath work. In the next one, we have someone helping us learn about emotion theories. We may have yoga instructors coming in to show us yoga moves that may help us improve our daily moves and activities as professionals while we are working on our full-time jobs. So hopefully this is going to be a place for you to pause for 30 minutes. And I'm hoping that if you enjoy it, you're going to bring your other friends to also join us on these calls. Now, let's go and listen to the audio recording of our first call. Just a couple of notes before we go. This is an audio recorded from an actual Google meeting that we had. So there may be some issues with the audio. I hope that this is not impacting your experience listening to this episode. Also, in the beginning of the show, I'm telling everyone a story about myself leaving my job. The year that I'm announcing there is 2013, but the actual year is 2023. It's a mistake. I kept it there, but you now know it. There we go. Without further ado, let's tune in to this first recording of a repause meeting we had on March 1st, 2024. I think we can get it started because, by the way, this is going to be recorded. As you know, we are testing and this is a pilot project that I'm running to see what we can do to help each other's mental health. And I'm going to be recording this. Uh, The audio is going to be on my podcast, The Ally Show. Of course, I'm going to be cutting if we have conversations within the meeting. So uh, no worries on that aspect. And then... As far as uh, the agenda for today, I'm going to be walking through a little bit of a story of myself and we pause and why we are doing this. And then I'll hand it to our first amazing guest instructor, Arizu, in these meetings. Hey, what's up, Drew? Uh, In these meetings, we are actually trying to bring instructors, guest instructors who can help us learn about small things weekly uh, that can improve our mental health things that I always wished I had way early in my life. So it's never too late. Let's 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 get right into it. I, I started a little bit of a presentation, you know, I missed working in corporate, so I had to do this. Uh all right. Welcome to We Pause, guys. I think thank you for making it here today. Uh I just want to first of all start thanking everyone for joining and uh appreciating everyone's time. I know it's a Friday. Uh, And I also want to start this uh, conversation by telling you a little bit about my own journey. Uh, As some of you may know, or most of you in uh, 2013, uh, I hit a turning point in my life and I made a decision to step away from my tech career for a while. And that was fun. uh, So that I can prioritize my own mental health and also like help others with their mental health and be an ally for them if I can be. Uh, So that's why we are here. That's that's how things started. Uh, but if I want to go back, growing up in Iran, as uh, some of you are also like fellow Iranians on this call, you know, uh, uh, there was all, a lot of complexities in my own personal life, uh, considering a child born during the war and also like having complexities in my family and things that happens in a strictly religious country. I always like felt like an outsider because I could never believe in so many things. And then I always felt I'm never enough 
growing up, I was also like dealing with a lot of sicknesses and like a lot of like emotional problems that I could never figure out what that is until it was like around like five years ago when a severe back pain hit. And as some of you may remember, the folks from Course Hero may remember it actually. I couldn't even walk for a time. And that was when I started like understanding that these pains are uh, actually not physical pains. These are pains that are caused by my emotions that I was not able to handle within the last 30 plus years. Thanks to the book by Dr. Sarno, uh, Healing Back Pain. Uh, if you guys want to check that out, it's, it's, it's an awesome book. So it was actually that wake up call that I needed to start taking care of my physical and mental health. Um, care and be be more cautious about what I'm doing with myself. Uh, and right around that time, I started like spending a little bit of time like taking care of myself. But as you know, in 2020, in 2020, COVID hit, which actually which actually caused another swing uh, in uh, the situation. This was also like while happy with my career, I never felt satisfied with. What I was doing, I, I always, again, felt that I'm not enough. I always had to feel that I'm hitting all the bars, which, uh, again, some of you may uh, empathize with that as well. Um, and it was until just about two years ago, 18 months ago, I started my podcast, my Farsi podcast, 10-Minute Pause, which is a guided Farsi meditation uh, podcast. In that uh, podcast, every episode, about like 10 minutes, I just... Uh, guide people through meditation in Farsi language. And I started that as a very small family project to help my family back in Iran. But it just got uh, expanded a little bit, got some love. And right now we have like over 70 episodes of meditations in Farsi. We have like, we created this community that like every month we have meditation challenges for 10 days. So it became a very interesting uh, sort of project that kind of like gave me that satisfaction and fulfillment that I always wanted from a project. I can tell you that like just last week, I recorded 10 episodes for one of the challenges we just had. And it was so much fun. It was one of those projects that I really w wanted to just do it from the beginning to the end. And it, it, it was just like something that I never experienced. And right after a 10 minute pause um, and around the time that I quit my job, the Ally Show was born. Uh, and uh, during the Ally Show, the Ally Show, the concept comes from uh, Joseph Campbell's uh, book, The Concept of the Ally, someone that actually helps you going through the journey that you have to become the And it was through these two projects that I really felt that I have this passion uh, and this kind of like uh, excitement to continue being a bridge. Uh, for uh, people and being the ally that people always need and maybe be the ally that I always needed in my life uh, and find for myself. Uh, so uh, it was through those uh, projects that I really found this passion. And uh, eventually, uh, I really want to make sure that I'm creating an environment uh, for all of us who are in the same need. I know that I'm not alone. Frankly, like uh, I talk to a lot of you guys one-on-one uh, -on -one or as group conversations. The, these platforms that I have created, both Ally Show and 10 Minute Pause, taught me a lot about true stories of people out there. And I want to continue being an ally for you. And I want to continue helping all of us to pause even for a few minutes a week. And if you're looking for that uh, solace and uh, support and uh, the group and the community around you to uh, get there and to get that to that pause that you need. Uh, know that uh, you have arrived to the right place. Uh, and I just wanted to tell everyone, welcome home and welcome to WePause. So as you know, as I, and as I mentioned earlier, in WePause, every meeting, we try to just have quick conversations and then have guests who can help us uh, with um, stories or with ta uh, practices such as today's guest Arezu uh, for breath work, for example, uh, that can help us with our mental health uh, processes so that we can be better, be, be more happy. Um, we already have a few guests for the next few weeks. Uh, some of them are on this call. Thank you for joining Mariam and Amanda. 
uh, that they're already going to be our next guests for the next following weeks. And for now, we are trying to keep this as a beta project and keep this free. So please make sure that you're joining the next ones and also like sending me your feedback at the end of this meeting or on a call, however you like it. I, I'm just here to make sure that we are getting the best out of these calls. But before getting to today's call, I just want also wanted to send a shout out to everyone who joined today. Also, those who helped me get to this project, especially like all of you who supported me in this first meeting. And also like Shadi for always like being the support in all of my projects uh, and never giving up on me. And also some of the great friends that I have on this call, uh, including um, Amanda for supporting as far as like the marketing perspective. And then also Amir and others for giving me feedback on this. Uh, also Sina, if he's on the call, I don't know. He has been a great advisor to this project so far. So I really appreciate everyone's input uh, throughout uh, this journey. And a special shout out to Arezu for always being one of the first people who support me in these projects. Even uh, the first challenge we had on my Farsi podcast was in idea. So thank you, Arezu. Uh, and I just want to uh, introduce her, Dr. Arezu Momini, a former uh, scientist, uh, also now a yoga instructor. Today, she wants to help us see how we can have a good breath work in those moments work that we are in the need of like lowering our stress so without a further ado i want to stop and i want to pause and pass it to arzu hello everyone thank you so much ali for that beautiful presentation and for the very kind introduction i appreciate all the kind words um, and just listening to dr arzu <laughs> sounds interesting after um, my journey. So I, I'll I share a little bit about myself. Just born and raised in Iran. I moved to US as a PhD student um, and I was studying chemical engineering. And I continued working in the field for, for a few years as a um, bioengineer research scientist, mostly lab setting. And I was really disconnected about what I was doing. I was feeling really disconnected. Um, and again, the challenges of being an immigrant, trying to adjust to a new culture, a new environment, and most of you might know already how toxic and challenging a graduate school can be. Um, so dealing with all that, I, um, you know, I had a lot of mental health issues personally that I was working um, through them too. So I started exploring healing modalities, different healing modalities. I think I started with acceptance commitment therapy and mindfulness practices mostly, and I was, um, I was fascinated. I got hooked and I could not let go of just diving deeper and deeper. So I just kept exploring. I um, explored yoga, meditation, and even um, some like feminine embodiment practices, just really working with coaches, with um, different practices, whatever is out there. I just love reading, listening to podcasts. There's so many resources out there that it's just I feel anxious for not like being able to read everything and <laughs> go to all the training. So there's a lot. Um, but eventually, uh, it was last year that I also left my research job and I uh, decided to dive deeper and focus more on my own healing journey. And um, recently, I uh, finished my two hour, uh, 200 hour not two hours, 200 hour yoga teacher. I wish it was two hours. <laughs> we would all be yoga teachers. 200 hour yoga teacher training. And um, I am recently certified as a life and wellness coach. Um, so I'm excited to be more available in this because really just, just like Ali, like talking about mental health and this healing modalities and like being the support for people to go through this growth and healing journey, it's is what excites me the most in, in life. So I'm happy to dive deeper and like be more available um, in this space. Um, so yeah, thank you, Ali, for having me. I'm excited to be here because I really believe in what he's doing. He's just amazing as all of you know already. So thank you for creating this uh, amazing space and thank you for having me as um, your guest uh, instructor. And um, so as you probably know, we're going to explore some uh, breathwork technique. Um, so to get started, I just want to 
uh, get familiar with our uh, natural uh, breathing rhythm. So you can uh, sit upright on your chair. And uh, if you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes to go deeper into your body. But you don't have to. Um, you can just keep your eyes open, whatever feels comfortable. But try to really become present and feel your natural breathing rhythm. Feel into your body and see where you feel the breath most in your in your body. Now let's take some deep breath and notice if you feel uh, the breath in your chest or in your abdomen. So start deepening your breath and become more familiar with how that deep breath feels. Is it in your chest, in your abdomen? Do you feel it in both? Now let's try to consciously bring our breath all the way down into our belly. So you can exhale the breath out, push the air out fully, and then take a deep breath in, inhale through your nostrils all the way into your belly. You can place one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest, just so you can feel the movement of the breath um, a little better. And then take deep breath, Feel your torso expand from all four sides, really. So take the breath deep into your belly. And continue taking deep breath in through your nose. Feel the movement in your abdomen and your chest. You can even really consciously alternate between keeping the breath in your chest and moving it all the way down to your belly just to get a good feel for it. Uh, what it feels. It's beautiful. And you can open your eyes if your eyes are closed. Okay, this is simply uh, called belly breathing or diaphragmatic breathing, when you breathe into your belly. And it's really uh, the most basic breathing technique to calm the body in induce the state of relaxation but being a scientist let's see why that happens and what's actually behind that <laughs> so um as many of you know might know uh, our autonomic nervous system divides into parasympathetic nervous system and sympathetic nervous system parasympathetic nervous system is the rest and digest so it's uh, your state of uh, calm and state of uh, relaxation and then sympathetic nervous system is that fight or flight response. It's when you're active, your heart beats faster, um, you're ready to go, but also the state of stress. Um, so, and uh, one major component of parasympathetic nervous system is vagus nerve. Vagus nerve is uh, one of the longest and most complex cranial nerve that connects uh, your brain to the base of your spine. So it really travels from your brain to your body and communicate between the brain and the body. Um, and uh, this um, vagus nerve travels through uh, your diaphragm. The diaphragm is this uh, dome-shaped muscle uh, that sits uh, under your rib cage, And that's the muscle that we use for belly breathing. Um, so because of that a position of vagus nerve and uh, diaphragm, the more you uh, engage the diaphragm and move that muscle, you are stimulating that vagus nerve. And in, uh, as a matter of that, you are stimulating your parasympathetic nervous system. So really, you have the control to uh, regulate your nervous system, but by just simply engaging your um, abdominal muscle uh, during the breathing more. So this is... Uh, really the base of a lot of yoga breathing too. A lot of uh, in yoga, um, the, the breathing is mostly in, uh, in belly. And uh, I don't know if any of you uh, noticed that you normally breathe in chest. I was personally a chest breather. And that's really, uh, you know, this, uh, our lifestyle because of the chronic state of stress that we're in, we're really just using our um, upper body. And actually the lungs, not a muscle. So to compensate that abdomen that we're not using we're using our upper uh, body more so we're lifting our um 
chest up and that that's that might be one reason why like your neck and your shoulders are tighter because of that constant uh, chest breathing so really just a simple awareness of where your breath is and just like guiding it into your belly uh, is really powerful um Another technique that I want to go through uh, is called two to one breathing. Uh, the base of it is again belly breathing, but this time we're going to exhale twice as long as we inhale. And again, um, inhale is uh, known to regulate our sympathetic uh, response, and our exhale is uh, is uh, responsible for regulating a parasympathetic. A response so by increasing our exhale we are again increasing our parasympathetic uh, nervous system response um, so again uh, we can again practice with this belly breathing and now increase our exhale so let's do a few rounds together to, to get a feel for it by just uh, again sitting upright and again you can close your eyes if that feels more comfortable for you um, or keep your eyes open just uh, relax your body body and uh, again become aware of your natural breathing rhythm get a feel for it and when you're ready uh, deepen your breath and allow the breath to travel into your belly feel your torso expand Take a few deep breaths into your belly to get comfortable with the deep inhale and exhale. Deep breath into your belly. Exhale out through your nose. And now to extend our exhale, we're going to contract the abdominal muscle to gently push the additional air out. And then on an inhale, you can relax your abdominal muscle and breathe into your belly. So again, contract the abdominal muscle as you exhale to push the air out. And then inhale, but relaxing your abdomen. So really, as you engage your abdominal muscle, air out and exhaling, and then your inhale is just a relaxation of your abdomen. And then let's practice this for a few more rounds. And then we're going to count our breath. So we can start with an inhale for just two, the count of two. So inhale for two, hold, and exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale for two, exhale for four, three, two. One. Inhale for two. Exhale for four, three, two, one. I'll let you tune into your own rhythm. And if you that elongating your breath, you can go for three inhale and six exhale. Beautiful. You can let your breathing return to its natural rhythm and tune into your body, feel how it feels and notice if anything's changed in your body. You can open your eyes if your eyes are closed. So this was the combination of belly breathing and two to one. Breathing and both of them you can use in combination or separately uh, anytime that you want to relax yourself, calm yourself down. Um, and you can really practice even once a day just to get more comfortable. If you're not familiar with belly breathing, just to get more comfortable with how it feels. But really, I, th I think honestly, the most challenging part of this, you know, these are all just tools. These breathing techniques, uh, stress managements are tools but i think the most challenging part is to know when to use these techniques because when we are in that state of stress 
we tend to go into our autopilot mode and kind of um, act based on our old patterns. So really recognizing what that stress feels like, what is that response to your body, where do you feel that stress, or even what happens, what do you say normally, what do you do normally when you are stressed, and just getting more in touch and in tune with yourself and your your body's response to the different stressful situation. You gain that awareness um, in your body, and then knowing these techniques, these, these tools, when you use these tools, you are literally uh, you know, changing your neural pathway. You're creating neural, new neural pathway, a new way to respond to stress in life. So that's, um, I would say that that is the most important part to just get get comfortable with yourself, explore uh, what your response is, what helps you, what, what works for you, and just really be curious uh, with that process. Um, and I think uh, really the most important work today was that all of you showed up here for yourself, for your well-being. Um, and that's awesome because I know all of you have busy schedule. Um, so thank you for being here and thank you for sharing your time with us. Amazing. Thank you, Arazu. Um, I saw a hand was raised. Uh, if that was uh, intentional, feel free to ask a question. Otherwise, uh, we have other question. Also, this is a survey we have pre uh, every meeting. Uh, if you want to ask your questions, uh, I just send it right now in case you, you want to ask an anonymous question. Please feel free to ask. We have four more minutes. The question we have, Arazu, which I think you may have already answered it, but it's about like how many times per day do you pause to breath to do the breath work? Like, is there a recommendation? I also feel like th there there is there's interesting aspect of like mindfulness in this question. If you want to respond yeah. to that, yeah, I actually love that question. Uh, so honestly, what like from one to as many as you can is is perfect. The more you practice, you can even um, if you're into meditation, you can even induce the state of stress and practice this breathing to really see how it affects your uh, your stress response. But I would say, again, the most important and challenging is to be able to use this when we need them, uh, when life happens, but also at the same time, just practicing it daily, uh, even for once a day, five minutes, um, the more the better. Um, if if you want to even go deeper, you can set timer on your phone or reminder on your on your phone like three times a day. Uh, whatever feels right for you, whatever is the next step that you would like to take uh, for yourself, just set reminders throughout the day. And when reminder goes off, just do five belly breathing, three belly breathing, whatever is more comfortable. Don't don't set the bar too high that you're not gonna you know, um, keep yourself up to it, do whatever, even one belly breathing, um, do what feels right. Yeah. I love that. And if I want to add one thing, you would be connected to a habit you already have. If you're brushing your teeth in the morning, do it after yeah. brushing your teeth. Like that, that's something I actually learned from Arazu. And I, I try to keep building habits by, by that technique. So it's, it's been working and helping me. So Sorry, by what technique you said? Uh, just connecting a new routine to an existing routine. It's a it's a habit forming a technique. So if yeah. you're if you're already brushing your teeth every morning, do two minute breath work after brushing your teeth. Yeah, it's it's a hack. It's a mind yeah. Hack. I love that you brought it up. It's called habit stacking. If you want to look more deeply into it, but it's it it works for any new habit that you want to incorporate. Yeah, psychologically it makes sense for sure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, making making things easier, you know, for your brain, just to help it a little bit, <laughs> engineer it in a way that it's easier. And I think because the reward is you inhale a fresh minty air. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you so much, Arazu. If there is no other question, let me just refresh the list. Uh, yeah, no other question. If there's no other question. Oh, there we go. Atomic Habits. There we go. That's where I learned it from exactly. It's an amazing book. Highly recommended. Yeah. The uh, favorite book. Thank you, Vipol, for that. And thank you, everyone, for showing up. I, I want to echo what Arzu uh, also said. Like, I think the biggest part of 
this weekly meeting is that we show up. We show up for ourselves. We show up for each other. And I think that's that's amazing. Thank you for making it. We are right at 30 minutes. You're all amazing and beautiful and have a wonderful weekend.